Hello everybody, this is a test of uh, a new horn shelf that I got a while back. You probably saw the unboxing video of it. This is my Wheelock AES E01-WM-24 uh, horn strobe. This is an 8 wire horn strobe, though it's 4 wire. You cannot hook up these three tones at the same time, it's only one at a time. This alarm, is actually, this alarm is actually both two wire and four wire. Um, these dip switches here determine the the tones. If the strobe is going to flash if you hook it up to the terminals. For example, if I have only two wires going to the warble and have the switch down, I think that means that the uh, horn will sound. The horn will sound depending on what tone and what. Uh, uh, whether or not the strobe will flash. So we're going to test the strobe first. Just the strobe. I'm just going to unpack some new batteries I got. Yeah, we're good. Let's see if these Dollar Tree batteries will, 9 volt batteries will hold up. Let's see. Let's see. Black, red. All right. This is a little bit awkward because of the way these terminals are set up. Hold on. All right. So I'm gonna test the strobe first. Just the strobe. Here we go. Is it even? Hold on. Is this battery dead? Dang it, this battery's dead. Ha, <laughs> hold on. Sorry about that, I had a technical difficulty. Apparently one of the batteries died, so yeah. Just gonna use my power supply that I modified with leads at the end. Yeah, so they're permanently fixed to the uh, power supply. So I'm just gonna go ahead and test the strobe first, and then we'll test the tones. So right now it's on strobe, yep. That's what the strobe said. What the heck? Did my power supply decide to die? Oh my god. Okay, retry. Apparently the uh, outlet is loose, so I had to just adjust it. So here's test the strobe. It is 117 candela, I believe. Okay. Now I'll go ahead and test. Let me just loosen the, the um, terminal so I can hook it up into there. Warble and horn. I believe with the horn tone, it's going to flash if I hook it up to it. This is the siren tone. Um, please turn down your volume. It's pretty loud. That was loud. All right. And now here's warble. It's gonna do this for a short time. It sounds just like tire siren, but more faster. Yep, pretty loud. And now let's test horn. All right. Here's horn. And the strobe will flash, I believe. Ow. By the way, I'm doing this test in the closet, and it's super loud. Wow. Even on low volume, that's pretty loud. Shouldn't have done it in the closet. Why did I pick the closet? I should have done the hallway or my room, which is more less loud. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, this is the same type of alarm that was seen at my high school. Where went, where apparently, this is what my high school had. Um, 
they had these, uh, before 2016, they had these installed in the original parts of the school. Um, I looked at, I recently looked at a transmittal, um, which had the alarm devices and names, including the panel. Well, it didn't have the panel, it had the devices, the pull stations, the strobes, the horn strobes. And this was on here. Now, I originally thought they had the WS strobes, the ones with the non-ADA strobes, but apparently they had these too, unless they uh, switched um, to the uh, WH one, but they had these, so yeah, and they had them on trim plates, SFP-R trim plates, on high volume horn, this one is on low volume, so yeah, the ones that were much louder, in fact, in the classrooms that had these, they have, um, they still have the trim plates on them, but they have covers, and they've also been painted over. Um, and then when they added onto the school, they added spectral alerts on code three. I might do a simulation of it, of what it sounded like there. You know what? I probably should do that. Then they had VGX 101Ls, too. I just wanted to say that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and... Stay home and stay safe, everybody.